Hi, Kyle Sword with NSG Pilkington. Today we're moving on from plate glass manufacturing to what you see here, which is the Colburn sheet glass manufacturing method. This started in Charleston, West Virginia in 1917. There were some innovations that happened a couple years ahead of that, but really this is the first large scale commercial manufacturing. So this is the furnace that we're looking at. You see these two chains in this large cylinder that drop down kind of center of the screen is this horizontal bar. So that horizontal bar would drop into the vat of molten glass and it would draw this sheet of glass vertically about three or four feet. Once it hit the top of this large cylinder, it would get turned and go into a horizontal roller bed that would cool the glass enough that you could actually put it into a continuous process right into the annealing layer and then right to cutting. So major, major innovation in the glass industry. What this did is it moved from plate glass, which was a, started as a, a batch process, um, and it moved it to a continuous process. So now you can continuously process the glass and you don't have to have a secondary step of, of adding that polishing to get it to a usable product. So major innovation because a continuous process that you can take right off the line and put into a window increases your output and it reduces the cost of the product because you no longer have to do all that processing. Um, this primarily was used in residential windows at this point. For commercial windows, it really still wasn't strong enough, thick enough, and durable enough, uh, and it wasn't optically clear enough to go into a lot of the commercial buildings still. So primarily uh, re innovation in the residential marketplace. So what we're looking at now, this is a video of that process, that sheet glass process. You see the vertical sheet being drawn in the center of the ribbon. There's some fire that's being blown on there to try to, to minimize the morphology of the surface cleanliness. Um, and then it's drawn vertically onto that next roller. So what we're looking at here, this is a piece of that glass in transmission. So we take a white piece of paper and shine a spotlight through the glass. This is the distortion that you see on the glass. So you see some white lines and, and dark lines and these different spottings that are on here. Uh, those different spots are actually thickness variations. So you go from really thin to really thick. That's what people refer to as a throwing of the light. So you see this distorted feature as you look through the glass, but the surface quality was really, really clean on the, this product because the glass wasn't in contact with anything from when it was really molten until it had cooled a couple hundred degrees at the top of that cylinder. So that surface cleanliness now means that you don't have any surface distortions that you see. You see these little thickness variations, so the glass throws the light, but you can still make out what's on the other side of it and, and you don't have to polish it. So that really made for a nice looking window for residential windows. Um, at this point, it was a major, major innovation and uh, it really changed the residential uh, construction industry at this point. Hope you've enjoyed this. Take care and I uh, hope you have a great one.